So I'm just loading a quick drive from uh, Carlisle to uh, Settle, although I don't anticipate us going all the way to Settle. Um, right, so here we are. Let's get it going and uh, see, see if we can't uh, figure out what we're doing as we go. So first thing, uh, let's check the signal ahead of us, which is clear, and we're ready to go. And we're in a 20 speed limit, so watch that. Move the brakes to release. Move the cutoff forward. Cylinder the clock's open by pressing C. As the brakes come off, we're going to then just put the regulator on and off we go. Right. So now we're going to put this back into running or self-lapse, doesn't matter which. And then we can put the regulator on and then immediately we can just start pulling that cutoff back a little bit. And now we've done three or four revolutions. Let's get the cylinder clock closed. Because, uh, while the cylinder clocks are open, you're not running at your most efficient. Letting the speed come up a bit now. We've got quite a lot of coaches behind us. We've got 10 coaches down here, so it's not going to be quick. We've also got a number of junctions to cross over, you know, so a little bit of patience, and then we can uh, we can open her up. A little bit of wheel step there because I just put the regulator up a bit too much. So it just demonstrates that we've got a lot of weight behind us. We've actually got Carlisle now in several different routes. It's in West Coast Mainline over Shaft, where you go from Carlisle southbound to uh, Preston. Settle to Carlisle, where you head to. Uh, thanks for the follow, Lunaga. Um, you have head to Settle, and you've got West, uh, Western Lines of Scotland, which heads north out of Carlisle into Scotland and to um, Stranraer. Um, uh, we've got uh, West Coast Mainline North, where you go from Carlisle to Glasgow. So it's, uh, it's a pretty well well implemented uh, station, I think, well used. So we've got another green light here. We're just still doing 20. Um, we're going to get up to a 50 in a minute here. You can see on the HUD, but we've got the junction coming up as well, so we need to be doing 20 for that. However, that's when the fun begins. So we've got your boiler pressure now, it's sitting at, uh, it's going up, which uh, is a good sign, but it probably means we're going to be uh, hitting the, uh, the safeties in a minute, but there's nothing we can do about that at the moment. So speed is edging up a little bit, so if we need to, we just um, do a short, short apply on the brakes, get down to sort of... 19 or 20 inches and just keep control of the train. It looks like we're all good. I'm just checking to see if this one had AWS in the cab. It doesn't, so I think I don't have to forget. By the time you've done learning how to drive them properly Ricky you'll be putting one train on and you'll be doubling the length of your train <laughs> there we go we're in the 20 limit now just put a little bit of regulator back on just to get us up to the 20 and we'll keep it going and uh, in a minute we can get it up to the 60 and then we can, uh, we can let, let, the, let the horses loose Just remember also that uh, speed limits are not uh, enforced at the front of the train, they are enforced once the entire of the train is in the speed limit, so you have to wait until it's gone past all of those coaches. We're going up a bit of a hill which is going to uh, hamper our attempts to accelerate, but uh, we'll just make it more and more fun. Evening Jamie. Right, we've got the 16, so let's uh, let's get things moving. So 
see, because you can see, it's just as the train speeds up, we watch the uh, the rate that we're accelerating, and then drop the uh, the cut off so that we can keep the rate that we're looking for. So we're accelerating fairly well, actually, considering we've got a big train and we're going up a hill. So the fire mass is probably at a fairly ideal level at the moment, which is why even under this much pressure, the boiler pressure is still actually yeah, going up very nicely. What we'll find is that as we let this fire mass go down, so the boiler will start to give up the ghost, and so uh, you'll see the red a lot more. I was just going to say, Doug, that sounds like an awful lot of diesels behind there. One black five at the front, four diesels at the back. I think he might mean he puts one diesel of one of those types at the back. <laughs> so the boiler pressure staying up nicely, and uh, we're doing 35 just about. It's uh, about 69 miles to get to settle. I said, I don't think we'll go that far. Once the train starts uh, moving at a decent speed, we'll start seeing the boiler. There we go. I think the boiler pressure just tipped to where we're now starting to see it going down. So now it'll be more important to keep an eye on that boiler pressure as we want to keep speeding up and then use the cutoff to uh, try and manage that. So it's starting to slow going down quite fast now. It's not the safeties. See, the safeties aren't going. These are the safeties up here. But the boiler pressure is going down. So this is. Now that we've got this happening to where I can actually show you the effect of the cutoff much more visually. So if I move the cutoff further forward, you see that it's going down much faster now. If I move it further back, you can see it's gone green. And in fact, now the boiler pressure is going up. Okay? So now what you can see is that with a bit more further forward, we've stopped, we've stopped accelerating. I was just pointing to the screen. I'm not quite sure why I was doing that. But we've stopped. We're barely accelerating, but we're gaining boiler pressure. Now if we pushed it up to say 43, the boiler pressure is going back down, but we're accelerating. So it's a bit of a trade-off. So sometimes it's a matter of finding a happy medium in the middle that's not consuming or is generating boiler pressure and still enabling you to speed up the way you want to. Welcome back, Hunter. Three and a half miles per hour. We're going up a one in one three two, which is a fair grade. Okay, Doc, how did you manage that? So what we should do is uh, see the boiler pressure is going back up again now, so we can edge the. Uh, Edge our cutter forwards and we'll spend some of that boiler pressure. It's almost like what, what you can almost think of it as currency, um, in that uh, you can spend some and you can save some just by adjusting your controls. So there's another example. So I've just put the brake in release and you can see the boiler pressure go down quite quickly. And if I put it back into running or self lapped, it's slowed down quite a bit uh, compared to what it was. Trust me, it has. <laughs> Some locos it's a lot worse than others, the effect that the uh, brake on release has. Um, but so it's, it's, it's very important you keep that um, in running state. So we're still accelerating, we've still got uh, reasonable boiler pressure, but we are now spending our boiler pressure. So what you have to do is just keep a really close eye on the controls. Um, we're actually on a level section now, so we're going to start running away on the speed. Um, so what you don't want to do is waste boiler pressure speeding. 
because that's just horrible. Um, you'll find out that when you, you, you use a load of brakes to get the thing slowed down, slow down too much, and then not have enough boiler pressure to uh, to do what you need to do. So I'm just going to back off on the. Uh, cut off back a bit and let's try and get some boiler pressure back up. Hi Jamie, um, and Dark, well some steam engines do actually have all of the signalling systems fitted so if you see Tornado or one of the other uh, mainline steam engines running on the line today, they have all of the same equipment that the modern engines have got fitted even if it's just strapped to the back of the tender inside the cab or if it's uh, hung on there somewhere. Indeed, if you look at the, um, if you look at some cab shots of our Tornado model, you'll see the uh, the AWS is all sitting there in the cab, uh, just like any other gauge, operated just like any other gauge. Uh, another example is on the Western Line, not the Western Line of Scotland, the uh, West Highland Line. Um, steam engines that run on the West Highland line have all got full RETV radio gear installed in the cab as well. So the boiler pressure is coming up a bit, which is good. Speed is coming down a bit, but that's fine. We're, that's acceptable. Um, what I might do in a minute is um, spend some of the boiler pressure again and get the speed up. and. Uh, get ready for, because uh, we're not too far below the 60 speed limit really. Okay, oh, I forgot to put water in. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Great. So here's me trying to teach people how to drive a steam engine. And I forgot the most basic bit. So, lesson that I intended to show there obviously, was that you need to put water in the boiler. I think we'll do something else. Let me, let me change.